welcome to Rick's Kits. Um, as you can see, I've got the Monogram 59 Cadillac convertible, 125th on the desk. The pink Cadillac, that's not going to be pink Cadillac. Um, in my update video, which you may or may not have seen previously, uh, I'd already, I've already started this build. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to update with progress in this one on on what I've been doing um, and we'll, we'll get this one try and get this one finished not in one hit but we'll try and get this finished in a in a couple of updates if we can um, yeah so this is what I'm going to be working on for the moment in time I'll come back in a moment okay so here we have some chrome pieces i stripped them down of the original chrome from the kit and re-sprayed them with um molotov liquid chrome um they're getting used to spraying this stuff doesn't always come out as a very very fine finish um this is sort of i don't know can't focus it in because of the light that's shining off it but it's sort of a, a satiny satin chrome finish it's not it's not bright it's the same with uh the rear bumper in some places it's get it on camera in some places it's quite glossy and reflective but in other instances it's a little bit flat um i've still uh i don't know practice doing this a lot more you can see along the top here is extremely flat you probably won't see that because that might be hidden by by the trunk hopefully yeah it looks like it's going to be Look like, look like it'd be up inside the trunk so it won't really be that visible fingers crossed um otherwise the only other thing i'm, I'm gonna have to do is just hand it over to a friend and get him to chrome it up for me because he seems a little bit better at chroming stuff than i am and there's the front bumper and lights situation we've got a nice bit of sparkly chrome on this side um but like i say the rest of it's all sort of a little bit flat in not as not as sparkly as you'd think chrome would be so i don't know if in on, on the real coat like i've said before i'm you know i like build i like to like when i see stuff i like to, what i like i build it i'm i mean like the 59 cadillac but i don't really know a lot about it vehicles uh, in, engine sizes different bodies and and years and things like that in the bodies but i couldn't tell you that 59 cadillac's got wings and and bullet tail lights is, is about all i know and she's a very sexy car a very sexy car um yeah but i don't know It's a little bit flat. I don't know, I might hit it with a bit of gloss, I'm not sure. Or we'll try and respray it again. But that's where I got to with the chrome. Uh previous to all this, um I built the what you Americans call the the chassis. But over here in England we call it a chassis. Um so you know, I've done most of the engine work. It's in a very dark blue, but I don't think that's a correct colour, but I like it. Uh, she's got the wheels on. These are a two-piece. Two that's a white insert as opposed to a white wall painted tyre that you see in some of the other kits, like a Johan kit. Uh, that's an insert. You have to trim it down excuse me sorry not a case for me you you need to get a sanding stick on it and you know make it available 
but they fit in there quite nicely it's not glued in let's just push straight in and push straight onto the um the points where they need to go uh oh, that's me airbrush can patch the going on sorry and uh yeah, bad enough trouble wearing me now without that thing going off. So yeah, it's not, it's not complete. But yeah, there's still a few bits and pieces to go on that engine. Um, again, it's not focusing for my lighting and camera. I still haven't managed to sort it out properly. Um, I have given it a a wash with pan uh, the Tamiya Black Panel Line accent. Um. I don't know if you can see it at all. I've dirted the exhaust a little bit with the same panel line. I tell you, it's just a lovely detailed kit. There's a lot of lovely detail in this kit. I'm looking forward to actually getting this one finished. Uh, she got a bit of panel line on the bottom of the engine. Like I say, it's a little bit too. Camera's a bit out of focus. I don't know whether to switch to my iPhone and do it that way. I don't know. But yeah, for it, she is a, a lovely detailed kit. Like I say, I look forward to getting it together. Um, let's put that to one side. Uh, in the last video, in the update video, I said I was going to try and decide on a colour for for the kit mostly <coughs> excuse me mostly for the interior tub now I'm not sure whose video it was I saw the other day um I don't know if it was a Fred Henry or Blue Ox modelling um, I'm not sure it may have been, it wasn't um, models with Glenn. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. I was watching a YouTube video. Um, may have actually been a still from a, from a photo of a model car. But there was a nice white and, I don't know what you call it, is it like a sort of turquoise or a, like a greeny blue on the center of the seats and like a blue carpet area so it was it's definitely like a blue with, with green in it um so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do this as so a, blue, a white and blue, bluey green interior, more blue than green all the top. Um, so that leaves me with what I'm going to do on the outside of the body. Now I've got, I've, I've got two options here. I can either go with the same sort of turquoisey blue colour for the main body, or go for a pearl white using a Tamiya rattle can uh, I should think I should have a, I think I've got enough in my um, stash somewhere oh yeah it's over there it has about three quarters of a can I think of uh, TS45 pearl white Crikey. that's what I've done one night, I think it was a 68 Hazagawa Cadillac, I think, was done in that one, in pearl white, so that I'm still debating, I might have to flip a coin on that one, so it's either going to be a, a blue, a turquoise blue colour, or pearl white, but yeah, I do love the detail in that, anyway, that's enough of me rambling on for the minute, when I've done a bit more, I'll I'm back and uh, update you on the progress. Well, guys, this is what happens when you skimp on priming your car. I thought I'd get away with um, just putting 
white pearl over the top of my pink Cadillac and I could make it white pearl but it's opaque it's an opaque white so it needs a base coat so all I've got my all my troubles is a lighter pink pearl Cadillac um yeah so don't skimp on your primer if you want to put a lighter base coat a lighter coat top coat on because you're going to be disappointed with the results so i've uh, got myself some tamiya fine surface primer and i'm going to respray this the hood and the uh, vertebral part of the back uh, redo it. My bad. Should have known by now. Been doing models for God knows how many years. But yeah, I'll come back to you when it's a proper colour. Or at least got a base coat on anyway. Okay, so oh, get my hands in the way. Put down the primer. Get rid of that pearl pink. Yeah. Oh, pink, who'd have thunk it? Um, so yeah, this is Tamiya Fine Surface Primer. Um, it is, let me get it on camera. There you go, Surface Primer for plastic and metal, and it's grey. I thought I'd use grey just in case the wet surface primer ended up like the wet pearl itself. Uh, but it goes down super fine, absolutely super fine. This is so so smooth. Normally, when you spray in heat of any sort, you you feel that rough effect. But there is nothing like that at all on this, and it is pretty. Well, I'd say it's pretty warm. It is warm. And just a little tiny bit there which I can rub out with some I don't know some 12 or 1500 grit paper it's just there's only a tiny little bit just in the back there um yeah super smooth that's gone down super smooth Yeah, did the bonnet. Bonnet's the same. And that is out, but not quite gloss smooth, but yep, that's done. Nice and smooth. Got the uh, dashboard primed up. It's going to be. Well, I'm aiming, like I said, I'm aiming for a pearl white. I think the way I'm gonna to need to I need to put a bit more primer down because I can't really I don't know if we can see it here or not. And get it in focus. There's just a tad of pink still left in there, round about there. Um but yeah that one I'll probably need another coat just to get rid of that one. Now to lay down I think the way I'm gonna go round this and get the look of pearl that I want. Then I'm going to have to put down a gloss white. Or a pure white I think to start with. Um, and then lay a clear pearl over the top. I'm going to use the uh, Tamiya Rattle Cans for that. Because I love the way that I look. I love the way they go down. They go down so so quick. Ten minutes, they're touch dry. Like twenty minutes, you could apply another another coat over the top, and they come up super smooth, nice and glossy. If you're using a gloss, of course. Um, the Porsche nine three four nine three five that I done in the green that was done in Tamiya rail cans, and I haven't. Haven't had to put a 
a gloss coat over the top or a clear coat as uh, the guys in America call it yeah so I haven't had to put any gloss over the top of that so that's what I'm looking at to put down on here I think the way for me to go is to is to put a white gloss coat down and then go over with a a pearl clear to sit over the top and then clear and clear coat or gloss coat over the top of that once it's been uh, wet sanded as I saw on Blue Ox models he uh, showed us how to wet sand oh, there's probably quite a few videos on wet sand but um, it was kind of him to share share his method the way he does it so I'll give that a go see how well that comes out um, the only issue I've had because I tried to do a little bit of white gloss is the convertible cover that goes over the back um, that was all primed up <coughs> and I applied this well, it's red it's Revell gloss white spray colour. Um I'm never gonna put this I am never gonna put this back on a model ever again, I don't think. Because what it does it it etched straight through the um primer. Um at the moment it's uh stripping at the moment in some oven cleaner but it just went I don't know I don't know what it I don't know what's in that I don't know what's in this that reacts with the Tamiya surface primer but I won't be using that again or well, not that combination anyway Ravel probably have their own um, primer I probably should have thought about that before I used it but Hindsight, as they say. So, uh, I'm going to cut off on this one and I will have to get on the old interwebs, as they call it, and get some Tamiya white coat. Got a white coat, good God. White, pure white paint spray, rattle can, and go that, go that route. And hopefully I'll get what I want out of that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to prime up the interior. Um, it is a bit warm in here, so I might have to use a, a rattle can on that one. Um, again, just purely because if, it, if I'm using an airbrush, it, it dries too quickly. And... Uh, I'll leave it rather rough. So I'll get back to you when I've primed and potentially painted the interior. Okay, so where we left off, um, I was going away and painting the interior white and grey. Excuse me. Um, I haven't actually got round to painting painting the green just yet on this because uh, I'm not quite sure if I believe it in the grey that it is but that's primer I'll actually go over with a lighter grey the white and grey works that's for sure it looks cool well in my eyes it looks cool and that's what matters because it's my kit. So yeah, I'm going to stay with the white and grey. Um, thing with this kit, moulded in bright pink. Um, pink still keeps shining through. That isn't get a card camera. So I will invest in a much better, much better camera than this at some point. But yeah, you might. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but the grey looks a bit pink, pinky, and I personally can actually see P 
pink coming through the grey just there. A bit grainy on the camera, I know. But it's down here and down here as well. It's a dirty fingernails, Jesus. And then we had a bit of a whoopsie moment on, come on, focus. Where are we going to focus? Let's go right up and then come back. Come on. Focus, yeah. Monkey. There you go. Sort of. Right. See, it looks all grainy and dis falling off on the grey. Um, the primer reacted with the other f um, thin layer of white that I put on earlier. If you remember that Revel spray colour and that reacted with that. And it's, it's sort of caused a cracking in the seats to be honest with you. And it looks like old leather that's been cracking. So again, but I'm going to have to go over it get rid of it because it would have been nice to keep it but unfortunately the didn't come out that way on the other door panels and stuff so I'm going to have to uh, go over I go over that you can see it probably see it much better on the back just then when I spin it around but no it's messy so it needs dealing with um, so that's that. Now, <clears throat> in an earlier segment of this video, you may remember that I said I wasn't going to use this can of spray colour again because it played havoc and took the primer off, took the Tamiya primer off the plastic on my. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Damn. It's gone straight out of my head. Anyway, cover for... Cover for the convertible that goes across the... Back here. Um, and I sent off for some TS-65... Uh, TS26, which was like pure white from uh, Tamiya Rattle Games. Well, here's the thing, and it's rather annoyed me to be honest with you. Our delivery driver, well, I'd say our delivery driver, a delivery driver, or maybe the loaders from the delivery company, handled my package in such a way. That when I got it, we ended up with a smashed tin of paint. You can see all the paints on the inside. So there's no air in there, no compressed air anymore. Because there's a hole here, a hole actually in the can somewhere, just about here, where all the dry paint is. Still got loads of painting. Um, yeah, and that's how it turned up. Smashed. Thrown around. By the looks of it, I would say probably stamped on. Because that's got to be something extremely heavy to damage that. So yeah, there are souls. I've contacted the shop. They're going to send me another one, but I've said to them I want it through the post and not via their courier drivers. So whether they'll do that for me or not, I don't know. But um, I want a, an exchange or a refund on that one. Because the actual colour I'm aiming for is a pearl white. So I bought, again, I mentioned it already, TS65. As you can see, that's a pearl clear. Because right at the very start I used TS45 which is a pearl white spray but it's very opaque and um, 
pink car came through uh, and I didn't want a pink car I don't want a pink car so I had unfortunately had to resort to using this just to try and get ahead with this model because I need to put a video out and so I've had to resort to this and um, what I did was put down a to stop it reacting with the primer underneath I had to put a gloss varnish down first before I used the white the white comes out gloss anyway and over the top of that I gave it two coats of uh, pearl clear I can't really unfortunately see it on the camera maybe just a little bit across the back near that wing where I've got the brighter light let's see if I can metallics you can pick up normally but there's pearl clear on there. there's two coats of pearl clear on there and that's the trouble with white white so bright you never get it to uh don't know if we'll pick it up on the back end or not mm, sort of can sort of see it with the light shining but yeah it's got two po coats of clear um i'm gonna stick some more down we've got the the bonnet in the UK or the hood in America um, done exactly the same two coats it hasn't come out too bad it's come out better than I expected ideally I would love to have had the Tamiya white underneath it the pure white as opposed to the uh, Revel white because I don't think the Revel White covers that well, to be honest with you. All of the, the hood, hood bonnet, main, um, main bodywork, all have this pinkish element to them, where I think the paint's not going through properly. This has got two coats of that pearl clear on it as well the dash I want to keep it the same as the outside um, we'll do all the dials and stuff yet but yeah that's where we're at at this moment in time uh, I've got some engine engine bits to paint up Got to get them painted. That well, I would say got to get them painted. That bit's already painted, which is the fan duct. The iconic gold to go on that. Sat in a flat black for radiators, etc. Plastic's like a metallic -y sort of grey. I mean, I could leave it like that, but I don't think I want to. And then, oh, can, excuse me, I'm in the way of everything. Then we've got to deal with the pink steering wheel. Mm. The end, the inner part of that is, is chrome. It's already uh, it's on, it's on the chrome tree. I'm going to get that off. And then there's just other little bits and pieces to put on the engine. Um, get this interior finished. Got to paint up the um, rubber mats on the floor. Put in the pedals down here. Do some chrome work here. Oh, you can't see it 
bit of aluminium work there. I think it's an ashtray or an armrest ashtray. Uh, there's there's a piece of chrome that goes in here anyway, but I'll I'll flat that out. Don't want it too shiny. And on the doors we've got um, pushed out of the push buttons to be done. All these buttons to be done. Those bits there. Door opener. Uh, air conditioning grills, which are down the bottom there. This side we've got a little bit more than that. In there we've got the... I can't see them. Sorry, just above where my dirty finger now is. Come on, there you go. Yeah, electric window buttons. And all the other bits are the same as what's on the other side. But yeah, that's got to be chromed up. Uh, for that, I will be using. Molotov liquid chrome mm -hmm. and drop that. Um, may accentuate the chrome with a little bit of panel liner, maybe not. So, yeah, that's where we're at this moment in time. So, I need to crack on and uh, get this interior sorted out. Catch you soon.